Okay, here we have Super Chinese World. So this was a real popular series on the Famicom. And when they went to Super Famicom, all right, let's slap Super in front of it like everything else. And update the graphics and everything, and here you go. So that's basically it. Um, updated the gameplay, updated the graphics. And, I mean, that's pretty much it for Chinese World. The box, like I said before, is in decent condition. It's got some tan spots. You can see the discoloration there a little bit more. So, And then sometimes there's these random spots on the back that it gets. That happens a lot, but hey, the label's in good shape. Culture Brain is an interesting company. It's, it's kind of like the LJN of Japan or something, is the way I feel. Like, as far as, not for the games that they do, but just kind of for the quality. If anybody's played uh, Hideo no Ken, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Here's a manual. Manual's in pretty decent shape. Let's see, on the front, it's got some, um, I haven't even read this. So, but I guess it's, uh, I think it's a password. I'll have to check. If I ever get time, I'll check on that. But otherwise, it's in good shape. So a lot of the kids, uh, they write their names on the front and backs. So we'll see if we get any later. Um, so they write their names in on the box, especially on the cartridge. You see that a lot. Or some of them, some of them are nice about it and put labels on it. So 